What is up you guys, welcome back to my channel, I hope you're all doing very very well. In today's video, before I even get started, don't worry, I'm all good. I look like I've been beaten up, had another little drop of chin filler, just a little top up, you know how it is. Um, and I bruise like a peach. So, yeah, don't worry about me. I know I look like I'm either like going a bit mouldy, because it's gone a bit green, or I look like I've been in a fight or something, but I'm good. It's just me being vain and like putting random things in my face. So in today's video, as requested by you guys, I'm going to be trying out the Revolution Sativa collection. There's not too many products in the collection, so it's not going to be a full face or anything, but yeah, thought I'd give some of these products a go. So the products that I picked up from the collection is the Priming Water, the Makeup Fixing Spray, we have the High Brow Gel, I got it in dark brown, a mascara, and then like the main thing from this collection is this palette here, which I actually haven't seen what it looks like inside. Like, in my head, I'm thinking it's gonna be a lot of greens, you know, like sativa, cannabis, weeds. You know what, let's just have a little look right now. Why wait? So packaging looks like this, looks very trippy, and it's kind of like a metal tin. Oh, yes. 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 I mean, if you thought this was gonna be another video where I don't do a green or blue eyeshadow look, you are wrong. You're very wrong. Oh my God, it's even got glitters and everything. Like, look at these two glitters here. This looks sick. Oh my God, and the names. Dope, Bud, Haze, Acapulco. What's that? I don't know what that means. But yeah, that's the palette that's gonna be going on my eyeballs today. I am very excited for this one. I did also pick up a random highlighter from Revolution because it was new and because I just can't say no to highlighters. So this one here is called the Loose Shimmer Highlighter Dust and I got it in the shade Rose Quartz. I think it was like, there was like a really icy one a bronzy one, and then a champagne -y one, which is this one. So not quite a full face or anything, but we do still have a few products to try out, so let's get into the video. All right, so first of all, let's whack out some new ears. Look at these bad boys, they're like little pandas. Oh, oh my God, I look amazing. All right, so first of all, let's go straight in with the primer water. So this says it has cannabis sativa in it. Uh, it says prep your look with this lightweight and refreshing priming water enriched with cannabis sativa oil extract. I'm really curious as to what this stuff will actually smell like. It kind of smells like brand new leather shoes. That is not what I was expecting it to smell like. Yeah, really doesn't smell anything like I thought it was gonna. I thought it was either gonna smell like weed or like hemp or something, or even just kind of like fresh, maybe a little bit citrusy. But yeah, it just smells like leather shoes. I don't dislike it though. It smells like when you were younger and you used to go into Clark's, get your feet measured for your little school shoes. That's what it smells like. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and spray that on my skin. Obviously, I mean, I don't know what it's really gonna do. It's not gonna do like anything crazy on camera. It's not like I'm gonna spray this and suddenly turn into bloody Rosie Huntington Whiteley. But mist is nice. It's not overpowering with the leathery shoe smell at all. I mean, I put on a lot and it sunk into my skin pretty quickly. It does have a little bit of a tack to it, like... You might be able to hear that. A little bit of a tack. But yeah, it's not really gonna look like too much, so I can't really review it right now. Um, but yeah, it seems all right. So now I know it's very early on in the video, but I don't want this video to be too long. I am just gonna quickly go off camera and do like concealer, uh, foundation, powder, all that kind of stuff. And then we'll... <coughs> Fun fact, I actually sneeze in twos. <coughs> always in twos. Never once, never three times, always twice. Um, so yeah, as I was saying, <coughs> Um, I'm just gonna chuck on my foundation, concealer, all that good stuff, and then we'll try out some of the fun stuff, AKA highlighter and green eyeshadow. <coughs> all right, makeup somewhat on, got my foundation on, bronzer, concealer, contour, little bit of brow pencil. Now we'll move on to this guy here. So this is the high brow gel in the shades. You're so rude, be quiet please. Let me try that again. So this is the high brow gel, I got it in the shade dark brown. Oh my guys, okay, little side note. Ollie got me a Switch for Christmas and I'm obsessed with it. Let me know your favorite games. I've been playing Link's Awakening, Smash Bros, Pokemon Sword. I've got Ukulele, Monkey Ball, maybe something else. But yeah, let me know your favorite games because I'm freaking obsessed. Okay, so this is what the brow gel looks like. Looks pretty standard to be honest. Let's see what the wand is like. Ooh, it's teeny tiny, which I like because it means I can like fully get right into the little brow hairs. So you know what, I'm actually gonna show you guys this in action on the macro lens just so we can see it a whole lot better. So here are my eyebrows, obviously filled them in a little bit with brow pencil. Let's have a look. So I'm just gonna start that on my arch. Oh my God, look at these brow hairs. They need a trim, girl. And then with whatever's left on the brush, I'm gonna work my way forward a little bit. This looks like a good color. I normally struggle with my brows because they are so dark, but they're not quite black. You know, that's a 
good color. I mean, I wouldn't say it's overly groundbreaking, but I mean, it is affordable. I think it's maybe like one or two pounds more than the normal brow gels that they have. Let's just do this side here. If I have to compare the two, you can see this one is a bit more filled in there. Oh my God, look at this, look at this brow hair. It's just not doing what it's told at all. Okay, it's a little bit messy. Like, look at that bit there. I think it's just like such a kind of opaque pigmented product that it does just kind of get everywhere. But look at that. Not the cleanest of brows in the world. I'm gonna try and blend some of that out with my sponge. But I mean, the color's really, really good. So yeah, I like this. You do have to be a little bit careful when it comes to getting to like the edge of your brow, just to make sure you don't get any like actually on your skin, but it does seem to come off quite easy. So it's not really that much of an issue. But yeah, that's a good color. I normally find with dark brown products, especially on the drugstore, they're normally a bit more ready, but for me, that's kind of a perfect color. So now let's try out this loose highlighter. So like I said, this isn't part of the sativa range, but I wanted to try it, so I'm trying it. I'm not gonna lie, I got this because I feel like it looks like an almost exact dupe for the Anastasia loose highlighters. It's like the same kind of packaging and everything. Let's open you up. It's got a little puff. I wouldn't necessarily say I would use this kind of puff for highlighter, but I'll take it. Free puff is never a bad thing. All I wanna do is play my switch. Let's just crack open this guy. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some in the lid there. Let's do a little swatch. Oh my God, this looks very nice. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, I'm still recording on this one. Hello. Didn't mean to do that. Swatch looks pretty cool though, mate. Yeah, that looks stunning. I initially looked at it in the top and I was like, mm, might be a little bit too dark for me, but actually I feel like that's a banging color. So I'm gonna take my little Real Techniques brush here and just swirl my brush in there. It does seem a little bit more chunky than like, I don't know, than I would normally expect. But let's face it, the only thing that matters is how it looks on my face. And um, <coughs> Oh my God, why am I just coughing everywhere today? And um, yep, that's a good one. Look at that. That is madness. And then we'll do this side here. Yep, just as I bloody expected, that is blinding as hell. Love that I had a scab on my face there, so I just casually turned it into a little beauty mark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so pretty on the skin. Like that is intense. And like, it is still like a little bit chunky, but as you kind of buff it into the skin, the chunky bits just kind of dust off. Try a tiny bit on my nose. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I'm sold. That's a good one. So I'm just gonna quickly blend all of that contour and bronzer out just so I'm not looking like I've got stripes of silver on my face. So now I'm gonna move on to the Calming Makeup Fixing Spray, which says it has a cannabis sativa, like the priming water, um, and it just says it's extra hold setting spray, lightweight, long lasting wear, dries down to a matte finish within 60 seconds. Okay, is this gonna smell like leather shoes as well? Why does it smell like leather shoes? This one smells a little bit more like fresh, but it's got like an underlying layer of brand new leather shoes. So again, I'm just gonna give this a little spritz all over my face. Try not to inhale it. I always drench myself with setting spray. Just feel like it just makes everything look a lot nicer. If you don't drench yourself with setting spray, you're doing it wrong. Okay, so we're looking nice and glowy right now. The mist is really, really nice on both of those sprays, so no issues there. Does seem to dry down very, very quickly, which is a good thing, like there's nothing worse than walking around with like a drenched face for like five minutes after you sprayed it. Well, actually there is a lot worse than that. I'm just being dramatic, aren't I? There's definitely a lot worse than walking around with a wet face. But yeah, that's dried down really quickly. It's like meshed into my skin really, really nicely as well. Obviously I know it's early days with this one. I will have to see how my makeup wears and everything, but so far, first impressions, how my skin is looking right now. Thumbs up. All right, so now let's move on to the main product for this entire collection. So this is called the Chilled Eyeshadow Palette, which like I showed you earlier, it's just a whole load of greens and I'm so excited to put it on my face. So I haven't actually set my lid down or anything. I'm basically just blending out the concealer that's already on my eyes. Oh my God, I don't even know where to start with this. This is so exciting. All right. Okay, so first of all, I think I'm gonna go in with Leaf, which is this shade here. And I'm gonna start by packing that. Holy shite. Oh my God, that is so pigmented. What the hell? I really wasn't expecting that much. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna pack that in my crease. That is mental. That's actually insane. 
And I'm just gonna blend that in a touch. Oh my God, wow, okay. There is a little bit of fallout here as you can see. Let's see if I can <laughs> blur it away. Okay, not fully. Okay, yeah, that has stain there. Right, noted, there is fallout. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of that into my crease. That is literally, I tap my brush on that a few times and that is enough to cover my entire lid. That color is sick. All right, so now just to blend everything out a little bit, I'm gonna take this shade here called Relax. It's kind of like probably the most nudie shade in the palette. So I'm only gonna take a little bit of that because obviously as we've learned, it is very, very pigmented. And I'm just gonna ever so slightly just tickle that over the top just so it kind of blends in a bit more nicely. Now I'm gonna take the same brush that I was using a second ago. I did just dust it off. And I'm gonna take the shade Plant down here. It's a slightly darker green. So I'm just tapping my brush in there. It's literally so insanely pigmented. And I'm gonna pop that on the outer corner a little bit. I always like to deepen up my outer corner a little tiny bit. So I'm just basically using that to do that. And also just sketch that into the crease just a little bit on the outer corner as well. And then again, just blend all of that out with that darker shade. Now I'm gonna take a little flat brush and I'm gonna go in with the shade Mist, which is this one here. It's got like a slight little shimmer to it. It's another dark green. And I think what I'm gonna do is, I mean, let's face it, I've gotta use one of the glitters and I think it's gonna be like maybe buds, this one here. So what I'm gonna do with that shimmer is basically just pat that on as like a little base for the glitter. Cause I don't know how opaque the glitter's gonna be. So if I just kind of like put this underneath then it might emphasize it a bit more. So it's actually a little bit more bluey than I thought it was gonna be. It looks a little bit kind of greeny in the pan, but it actually comes off a bit more bluey. So now using the same brush, I'm just gonna take the other side of it. I'm gonna go in, I actually kind of, should I do bud or should I do goddess? What do these even feel like? Okay, wow, no, they are super pigmented. Oh my God. Wow, okay. I might actually even use my finger for that. I'm gonna start off with the shade goddess because I might. Do a little mixture. Oh my God. Oh my God. All right guys, I'm gonna level with you here. I have recently gone off Revolution Palettes a little bit. I don't know, I feel like compared to when they first started out, the formula has gone downhill slightly. I don't know, don't come for me, but that's just like my own opinion. This is how I remember Revolution Palettes to be, like stupidly pigmented, nice and original. Like I don't think this is supposed to be a dupe of anything. It's not a dupe of anything I've seen anyway, but like these glitters on their own are Mad. Like, I don't even need a base underneath. I was just kind of being careful, but like, that's insane. I'm actually even gonna take a little bit of that other glitter and just smush that on the outer corner. The darker one. It's looking like a hot mess right now, but we'll fix it, promise. So I'm gonna take that first shade that I used, the one called Leaf, and I'm just gonna etch in there in my crease just to kind of blend out the little bits of glitter there. And then take another little bit of mist, just dab that on the outer corner. And then again, I just blend out that little part on my brow bone there. I feel like it's looking a little bit muddy on my brow bone. It's not looking amazing. I have just fully smudged glitter all under my eye there, which is fabulous. But I'm fully just blown away by how intense these shadows are. Just trying to blend that out a little bit more and then I'll try and stamp that away, sharpen it up a bit. I'm gonna try and scrape off some of that glitter, but I feel like it might be, yeah, that glitter is fully on there right there. Hmm, maybe I'll take a little bit of natural Oh my God, I definitely took way too much there. But I'm just gonna take natural and just pop that on the outer corner to see if that kind of ties it all together a bit more. So I'm just like they're too pigmented. Like, I'm not complaining. Guess I kind of am a little bit, but this might take a minute to kind of get used to because they are just so, so pigmented. Which I mean, as long as you know that from the get go, you're fine. But if you're going in like swirling your brush in, you're just gonna end up looking like a piece of mold. That was like the first thing that came to my head when I thought of green stuff, mold. Yeah, it's pretty nuts. Needs tidying up. Would definitely be a lot better if I'd done my eyes first and then my base. But I guess now I know. So now for highlighter, I think, I mean, do I want to take Candyland? How dark is that? Oh, I might take Candyland. I'm doing it. So Candyland is like the lightest green shade here. And I'm gonna whack that on the inner corner. I know it's probably not gonna be like overly brightening, but oh my God, I'm an alien and I'm really happy about it. That's really cool. I do feel like I want to take a tiny bit of calm here, like the actual kind of like champagne highlighting shade and just dot that right on the middle just to really make it pop. Yeah, that's pretty cool, dude. So now I'm gonna take that flat brush again and I'm gonna go in with the shade Plant. So this like shade up here and I'm gonna run that on my lower lash line. And it's just so freaking pigmented. Oh my God. So I'm just gonna pop that there and then I'm gonna dust the crap off of that first brush that I was using and just start to 
blend out the edges there. And I do think I am going to have to kind of redo my concealer a little bit and clean everything up under my eye. But oh my god, like, that is, that's green. That's very green. So then I think I'm actually going to take this loose highlighter and I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm going to pop that on my brow bone just to kind of help me blend all of that out there. That helps. God, highlighter just fixes everything, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yes. Now, just while I'm here, before I go ahead and clean everything up and add something to my lips, I'm gonna go ahead and use this mascara here. So this is called the Blowout High Volume Mascara. So it looks like this, got kind of like oil slick packaging. Are you a plastic wand or like a fiber wand? You're plastic, that's great. And I am probably gonna add lashes in a minute, but I just wanna show you guys what this is like. So let's give it a go. It's very wet. That's what she said. Sorry. Yeah, it is a little bit wet. Um, I feel like I would maybe like it if it was a bit drier. So maybe like after a few weeks or so, this will get really good and kind of thicken up a bit. But you can see it is doing some in there. It is giving me a nice curl, it's adding length. Obviously I know it's like not the easiest thing to see when I have got like green all over my eyelid, but it does seem nice. Like I said, I do think I'll like it more in a couple of weeks time when it has dried out a bit, but it's still a good mascara. I'm not mad at that at all. All right guys, so now, like I said, I'm just gonna quickly go off camera, clean up under my eyes, do the other eye, add something to my lips, sort my general everything out, and then I'll check back with you guys in a second, my final thoughts. All right guys, so this is a finished look. Did a little bit of clean up and aisle under eye. I love how this turned out, I fully do. I'm honestly loving this color with my brown eyes. Just really into it. I've gotta say, I think I basically liked everything to be quite honest. The only real like downfalls of any of the products is the brow gel you have to be a little bit careful with and then the eyeshadow palette you have to be a little bit careful with as well only because it is so flipping pigmented that if you apply too much you might get a little bit of fallout. But that's the only downside. Honestly, this palette is probably one of the best that I've come across from Revolution in a very, very long time. I always like their stuff but this is kind of like how I remember Revolution palettes to be, like stupidly pigmented, like insane colors and these glitters i'm obsessed with these glitters so yeah overall thanks to you guys for asking me to try this out i definitely think i found a few new faves like for example the loose highlighter and then obviously the palette and also the brow gel which i love the color of i really like it oh and by the way if you're wondering what's on my lips um i actually have my brow pencil as my lip liner and then i don't even know where i put it a little bit of the morphe sweet tea lip liner in the middle then I just put a little bit of concealer in the middle as well. So it's kind of like just a really random selection of products, half of them which aren't even intended to be on my lips. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this makeup look. Let me know if you're gonna be picking anything up from the Revolution Sativa collection. I definitely recommend the palette. If you are looking for like a greeny blue eyeshadow palette, it is probably one of the best drugstore ones I've come across in a while. If you guys did enjoy this video, as always, please do give it a, a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. Also, <laughs> this is like very, very fitting for the video that I just did. At the time of filming this video, it might be completely different by the time this video goes up, but at the time of filming this video, I am nearly at 420,000 subscribers, 420, eee. If you guys enjoyed this video, you will know what to do by now. Please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do want to see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But apart from that, that is it from me. I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye. <coughs>